Hey guys, Jared Benz here with Edge Products. So we introduced you to the all new Pulsar for the 2017 to 2019 Duramax L5P. Um, here I'm going to show you what the Insight kit is. So the Pulsar kit now adds more functionality to the Pulsar by having an interface of the Insight CTS2. So there's a couple things we added to it. Um, engine oil temperature is one PID that a lot of you guys requested. We added that in there as well. But if you come to the menu options, you go to settings, you can see there's actually a new option in the settings menu that says Pulsar settings. In the Pulsar settings, you're able to come in here and then control the Pulsar and do more settings. Um, first one, for example, is back down settings. So if you want to set some back downs, um, you can do this now with the inside on your Pulsar. The great thing about the back down settings is you can actually control each power level of the Pulsar. So instead of setting all back downs, you can actually do it for one specific power level. So if you're want your race level 5 to have all the power and all the back downs turned off, you can do that now. If you want to have a back down set while you're towing at a little lower EGTs, you can do that as well. So if you look in here, we have our back downs, EGT back downs enabled. You come in this menu option, you can see level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And so you can see it's back downs off or back downs on. If you come in here and click it, it'll turn it off or on. Just toggles it between on and off right there for the back downs on the EGTs. Come back to the main menu here. And if you want to do EGT back down temperatures now, so if you want to set your EGTs, you can check your uh, EGT that's in the truck installed stock sensor. You'll come in here, click on the level that you want to change the EGT back down sensor with, and you can adjust it up and down from there. And that's the EGT back down settings in that menu. Come back out again, and you have Translip. So translip, like what we're doing there, is if we detect any translip, we're going to pull power out. If you want to disable that feature, because you want all the power just to keep it going through it, you can now toggle on and off between those settings. Simply touch the power level that you want to turn that feature on or off with, and it'll toggle back and forth. Another back down here is uh, cold engine protection. So a lot of these diesel trucks, you like to let them warm up before they add performance. So cold engine protection, you can turn it on, by doing so, you're allowing the truck to properly warm up, all the oil to flow through your truck, and get to an operating temperature that's safe for your truck to drive around. Especially with the added power of the Pulsar, this is a great feature the inside adds to the Pulsar. And then gear change back downs. Again, on each level, if you want the Pulsar to back down power while it's changing gears, you can turn that on or off. Um, it's a great feature, basically, if you want to make sure it's gauging um, when you're fueling down the track, if you want all the power you can, you don't want it to feel why it's changing gears, you turn it off and you can have that. So today we're out here at the track, maybe yeah, I don't turn off the gear back down today. Let's go. We have all the power going down the track to get the best time in level 5. So those are all the back downs and the features that you get with the Insight kit now with the Pulsar. Coming back here, Turbo Timer. A lot of functionality of Turbo Timer we have with the EAS, EAS accessories or we have with our Juice with Attitude features. The great thing with the Insight and Pulsar now is you can turn the EGT or time, as well as do EGT and time at the same time, and whichever one defaults first, the truck will shut down. So if you uh, tow in a long time and you have the truck, EGTs are hot, you want to let it cool down, get in here, set the EGTs at whatever temperature you want to set there, automatically turn the truck off, let the oils cool down, let it not sit in your lines, cools the truck down, turns off. If you want to abort it, you can hit the pedal, uh, the brake pedal and turn it off right away. Um, one thing to note here is, if your truck is in regions with these L5Ps, sometimes if it's set by EGT, it may go maxed out EGT to time of 15 minutes. So know if your truck's in regen, which the Insight will display if the truck's in regen or not, you'll know that it may take a while for the EGTs to drop low enough to turn the truck off. Tire size. So the Pulsar has tire size currently that you can adjust with the cruise control settings. This is just a little bit easier setting here. You come in the tire size and you can just hit the up and down arrows to do your inches at the decimal place as well. Um, 34.5 is what we currently have on this truck, so it automatically reads what the Pulsar was set at last and it adjusts there and changes your speedometer to correct for tire size. So the actual ratio adjustments here, you can actually come in here. If you got aftermarket actual ratios and you want to come in and set them on the Pulsar, you can come into the Insight menu and change that Pulsar re reading whatever you need to do there on your actual ratio, enter it, I'll save it, and I'll adjust for the actual ratio. And the last feature here is our update Pulsar feature. So if your insight's up to date, it will read that it's connected to a Pulsar. 
once it's giving you the Pulsar readings, it's going to tell you all these settings that are available for the Pulsar, as well as give you up options to update the Pulsar if it needs to update it. So you don't need to hook to the computer to your truck. You can actually hook your Insight right up, update the Pulsar. It may take up to five minutes or so, depending on the update needed. And now your Pulsar is up to date with your Insight CTS2. Um, that's an, some of the new features that we added with the Insight on the Insight kit. Um, there's all the kind of cool features with the Insight. We can do uh, injector balance rates you can watch, like say the engine oil temperature, your EGTs on all the ones stock installed on the truck, your RPMs, everything on here you can display with the Insight CTS2. Um, if you want to change power levels, say you're in cruise control and you want to change power levels now, now you can use the Insight screen to change the power levels while driving down the road without canceling your cruise control button. So this is another feature that added to it. Um, the Pulsar will still adjust with the cruise control buttons when it's off, or you can use a screen. Either way, you have an option, but when the cruise control is on, now you have another option to change the power levels with the Insight CTS-2.